Hey guys, in this video, we're going to a brand new national park. This is the New River Gorge National Park. It was dedicated as a national park in December of 2020. And we're here and we're gonna check it out. So come along with us. This national park is so new that the ink is barely dry on the sign here. Hi everybody. Welcome back to Zephyr's Travels. I'm Randy. And I'm Diane. And we're at North America's newest national park, New River Gorge in West Virginia. This actually just became a national park in December of 2020. And it, it's been under the control of the National Park Service for a number of years, but it just got the National Park status recently. And so we're here to kind of check it out. And where do we go to when we first check things out at a national park? We're going to go into the visitor center. That's right. So we can get an idea of what there is to do around here and see if we can make a plan for the day. So let's go. Okay. Behind me is the New River Gorge. For years this has been a popular destination to go for whitewater rafting and kayaking. Now it's one of the national parks and it's a popular tourist area for hiking and bird watching and all the things that you would do in a national park. So what did we learn in there? About the history of the gorge, how it was developed, coal mining, the railroad that Move the coal. Yeah, move the coal, service the, the coal mines and the towns. About the workers in the coal mines, the families. Cool, well, let's go explore. Okay. Behind me is the New River Bridge built in 1978 that changed the travel through this area from taking 45 minutes to drive all the way down the canyon and back up again to just a minute to go across the, the gorge. The bridge is over 800 feet high and every third Sunday in October every year they close the bridge for base jumping and pedestrian traffic so I think that's kind of cool. Maybe we should get a bungee cord and jump off of it next year. So we're taking a driving tour through the National Park, and what is the name of it? We're going on the Fayette Station Road Tour. And this is the road that, before the bridge was built, this is how you actually would get through this area. And it used to take 45 minutes um, to drive through here. It's very narrow roads, and you're going to be a lot of switchbacks, and we're going to be down into the river gorge, cross the old bridge, and then back up the other side. It's eight miles long. Yep. It says it takes 45 minutes without stops. And though we're not on the main road yet, when we get to the main road, yeah. When we get to the, the, the road, it is a one-way road. And it said this route is not suitable for large vehicles or trailers. Right, so leave your Airstreams and travel trailers home, leave the motorhomes home, unless you've probably got a Class B van, you could probably do it with something like that. Behind us is a couple of school buses for uh, the river rafting. 
Actually, I think one's for the river rafting. The other one's, I think, is an actual school bus. Maybe not. It looks like a, it's blocked out. Ew. Yeah. We'll pull off one of these guys. driving this road every time he came through this area to get to the other side. Obviously this was no longer, this was not much of a direct route for anybody and probably people went way around here and never came through this area. The only people that really came down here were people that either worked here or lived in this area. I wouldn't want to come down in every day. No. Can you imagine jumping off of that bridge? I mean, they do it with parachutes and bungee cords. I don't think I'd do it. This appears to be the start of the rafting area where people load and unload onto the rafts. I think it's the end. The end? Yeah, I think this is the end of the rafting area. I think they'd start there because we saw people that way. Oh. This looks like so much fun, we've totally got to come back and try this sometime. Obviously, one day here in this area is not enough. You really need to plan a few days here so you can do things like these river tours and rafting and kayaking and all that stuff. A lot to do here. There's hiking, uh, mountain biking, so much. You've really got to come back and check this place out more.
interesting. Um, you know, all the trees and everything with in full bloom with all the leaves. Yeah. It's hard to see anything. I'm sure in the fall it's probably spectacular with the oh, yeah. leaves changing color and then falling off. You'd be able to see a lot more of it. But getting down by the river and be able to see the rafts go by, I mean, that's something, you know, right, we, right. we would have to come back and do sometime, I think. Right, yeah. That looked like a lot of fun. Yeah, it was, a, it was a neat experience, a neat road to drive down and back up. We stopped in the city of Fayetteville, West Virginia, which is a very old city. So we're going to get out of the truck and take a look around a little bit. Right. What do you think of Fayetteville? Um, it's cute. I yeah. love these little small towns. Or, I don't know, is Fayetteville a city, a village? Don't know. I don't know. So stay, stay with town. Okay. Yeah. It's a neat old town. What's, um, what's nice about it is with the National Park, it hasn't gotten all tourism. You know, there's a few uh, outdoor shops here and you know, a lot of just small town little shops like the Ben Franklin and and craft stores and antique stores, but it hasn't got the tourism shores, stores that are selling you the overpriced postcards and things like that. Exactly. The knickknacks, picture frames. Yeah. That's what's nice about it. Yeah, and he has all the unique homes, the style. Yep, exactly. What do you think, Randy? Good. Good pizza. It's good. A little lax on the apples, but it's good. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, we both ordered 10 inch pizzas, and I think because it was such a thin crust, there wasn't a lot of toppings. I mean, thick toppings on it, so you could eat more. I mean, I ate the whole thing, and I usually don't. But. I don't think it, unless it's a thick crust and has, you know, more cheese or whatever. Right. It wasn't heavy. Right. It wasn't heavy. So. Right. But it was, it was good. Yeah, it was good. Yeah. Yeah, that's, uh, we definitely have to come back and spend more time. Um, there's a lot of things to do here that we just didn't able to get into with uh, just spending, you know, about a day here on our way through. But we definitely want to come back. We want you guys to come back on our next video, so make sure you do what? Subscribe to our channels and for travels. Hit the bell for notifications. Leave us a comment if you've ever been out of this area. We'd like to know about that. And until the next time, we will see you down the road. Take care, everybody.